Jusson, a French nautical term for a receding tide. Hello and welcome to this home. And so we begin chapter one, day mark. I will be playing it with keyboard and mouse since it's it's the most comfortable for me. Figure out what this is. V. Okay. This will be interesting one. These carabiners are automatically secure to climb. Okay. But each time we need to hold each arm separately.
No. Oh, thank you. Secondary pitons. Nice and easy. There won't be a lot of me talking here because it really requires, uh, at least for me, a lot of focus. So feel free to go to sleep while well, I'll be continuing our ascent. There's still a long way ahead of us. And asleep turning over stones at the old delta. Harvest. Two belay stations for parts. A good catch. That should be enough to reopen the route to the old cape. Otherwise, it's all smooth sailing. A couple of old lanterns I think I can revive. Folks used to throw this stuff away. Oh, and I finally called an old knitting machine for Enyo, who's been asking for one for cycles. Not in great shape, but we should be able to tinker with it. Still not sure how I'm going to hold it up, blow tie though. Note to self, stop doing business with Ram. All he does is dismantle my discoveries and sell them for parts in the height. He claims to be a repairman, but he's nothing but a fool salesman. That's what. Where it is. Let me meet Oh! 
Door. I can only hope we are not able to pull down. What's it? KK, how are things at the sawmill? Business has been slow at the restaurant. Almost no one came to the last music night, even though people are climbing down from all over. I know I don't play the shell anymore, but still. I was thinking that adding scaffolding to the side of the upside down cliff might help steer passerby this way. I miss seeing a packed paid patio. Can you take care of it? I checked with low tide and everyone agrees. Hey Mo, uh, listen, these things happen. I hope one day you'll ask me to do something besides taking boats apart to make ladders. Like if I'm free for a romantic dinner for two? Anyway, all good for your scaffolding, since the village approves. I don't have much wood to choose from after that new path the plane I had to build, but I still have a wreck or two left over. I'll get to it when the currents are low. I owe you one, thanks. You're the best. By the way, do you ever run it all, Sonia? I think she's rummaging around in your area right now. If you see her around, do you mind telling her I need a new hope for my oven? Mine's taking on water. In the meantime, set sail for the restaurant. I'm not sure how romantic it will be, but we can always share a half-cooked meal. Hmm. Huh. Let's put it further down.
was until I started to shift my ship to prepare for the crossing that I realized it's my last crossing to supply Fumarolia. After that, folks will have to make do with what they have. What I wouldn't give for things to go back to the way they were. Seeing smiles on people's faces, the little ones climbing the cliffs and diving into the waves, and us water fishers learning to fish again. All the things old folks tell us about sleep after sleep. But enough of this yearning for old times. I've got a desert to cross and a caravan to prepare. It's not going to prepare itself. If only. Nope. Nope. No shortcuts.
We've made it. Somewhere. Hello? Oh, hi. Hey, Bianca. How are things down there? I hear your boss sailed off into the horizon. Good riddance. I never liked him anyway. Things here at the hut are pretty quiet. Not many people stop by these days. A seasonal job when there are no more seasons. I'm starting to get bored. You can't tell because I've started scratching letters. Tell me something to distract me, won't you? Oh, Anne, I'm so glad to hear from you. Yeah, I'm about as useful as a boy on dry land, but no surprises there. You've been gone for a while. So maybe you don't know, but everything here is closed. Except for old Enyo's shop. He's still raising his uh, chocos. <laughs> Basa tried to convince him to live, with, to live with them. Remember Basa? The little terror of the back of the classroom. They got caught in quite a gale. It was amazing. No one's there to try against sense. Do you think they're going to keep you on if people stop coming by? You might be seeing more folks soon, though. I came across a classified ad. They're mounting an expedition to explore the crow's nest. Odd like that, but... Going off on an adventure with strangers? <laughs> uh. Oh, y yeah, I heard about that. Heading for the clouds, huh? That sounds like quite something. I'll better stock the hold. I bet they'll come this way. You know what? You should join them. Come see me too. You don't have any excuses since you're out of job. <laughs> uh, it would be a nice change from the few straight travelers that still come by. Hey, the other day, another climber got stuck at Whooping Rock Pass. I had to go fetch them. If only you could have seen them. Stupid enough to eat hay, as they say around here. Okay, it's settled. I'll be waiting for you. We cannot do that here, but... We should be able to... I track it from here. I'm finally leaving. I'm so happy I couldn't slip a wing. At the old harbor master's office, an old caught my eye. It sounded like poetry. <clears throat> Expedition to the clouds, seeking hope and water. Join us at 12 octaves, back on Arlo's farm, Highfield, to journey together. After spending so long marinating and trying to find meaning in life, it'll do me good to see the world, as Anne would say. Hopefully you'll be stopped pooping by her heart. Just the thought of seeing her again is enough to tell me I'm making the right decision. With any luck, there will be other adventurers living from low tide. I don't want to make my way to the meeting point with the rest of the expedition all by myself. The only time I ever left here was for the harvest festivals, when I was just a small fry. So an expedition like this is no small matter. They want to set sail for the clouds. <laughs> oh no, my parents. I forgot about them. <laughs> what am I going to 
tells them, Hey folks, I'm off on an adventure, see you around if and only if I make it back alive. Of course, Bianca dear, don't forget to bring snacks. Hmm. I would better not say anything. And I should bring snacks. What else? What do people normally think take on this type of trip? One thing's for sure. What's a journey without a logbook? I've got it covered. I plan to make like the expeditions that set off for the salt plain in search of springs. I'm going to scatter my journal entries along the way for anyone who might come after us, starting with this message. Farewell, my lighthouse. You welcomed me with wonder and have kept me company as I've pondered too much. Uh, you've always been there for me. I'm leaving you to the weave beaks who watch over you from the sky. And to watch over this message, I'm leaving one of my creations. Adventure calls, Bianca.